Konnichiwa! We had a fantastic two-week trip in Japan. In this video, I will share with you my experience in planning the trip. First things first, pick a date and book your flight as soon as possible. Once that's taken care of, it will be much easier to choose where to stay and plan out your itinerary. Taking prompt action will also ensure the best availability and prices for your trip. This is one of my mistakes. The airfare prices change overnight, kaya na miss ko yung cheaper by 200 per person. Just imagine, 200 per person is already a lot and we could have used that for something else. Next, book your hotels. I used Expedia for all my bookings. So far, maganda naman yung experience namin with Expedia when it comes to hotels. I find Expedia very helpful because it enables me to compare hotels, amenities, and nearby tourist attractions. By the way, this is not a paid advertisement of Expedia. Making sure to have an internet connection, preferably with a data plan, as you will be heavily reliant on Google Maps. When it comes to eSIM cards, we confidently recommend Ubiqui for its reliable 5G connectivity. During our stay, we never experienced any internet issues. We relied heavily on the trains during our time there. I made sure to download the Suica card onto my phone, which was a game changer. Unfortunately, my daughter and my husband struggled to add it to their devices, so we had to purchase tickets every time we used public transportation for them. Trust me, having the Suica will make your life so much easier. For obtaining yen, um, I highly recommend getting them from your bank rather than from the currency exchanger at the airport. If you are uncomfortable carrying a large amount of yen, you can simply get around 5,000 yen because there are many 7-Eleven ATMs where you can withdraw in Japan using your debit card with minimal terminal fee. Currency exchanger charge $10.35 per transaction and on top of that a low exchange rate so you might as well get a small amount of yen and withdraw from any ATMs in Japan. One important thing I made sure to remember is how we managed to get from the airport to the hotel. With so many options available, we decided that our for our first time exploring Japan, taking the limo bus was the most suitable choice. The bus transported us directly from the airport to our hotel, providing a remarkably convenient and worry-free experience. When booking the hotel, I made certain to check for their limo bus service. I made advanced reservation for seats, though it's worth noting that you can easily book upon arrival. Once you get out of customs, you'll find their counter without any trouble. We selected ANA for our airline without any specific reason. However, my daughter was absolutely thrilled about the airplane for this particular flight, which she endearingly called the Pokeplane due to its captivating Pokemon theme design. The service provided by the airline was of high quality, but I would suggest bringing extra snacks along with you. The meals served were enjoyable and the dessert included delicious ice cream. We were also pleasantly surprised by the spacious legroom in the economy class and the lavatory was exceptionally large and clean. Upon arrival, be prepared for a long wait in the immigration line. We spent a significant amount of time there. Remember to fill out both the embarkation card and the custom declaration card. I encountered some confusion with the customs declaration process. You have the option of either using the physical customs card or completing the declaration online. 
I wasn't aware of this and got confused when airport employees started talking about the QR code. If you opt for the online declaration, you will receive a QR code. However, if you have filled out the card on the airplane or at the customs counter, you can proceed directly to the duty-free exit. Learn from my mistake and be prepared. I really hope these tips will be helpful for planning your first trip to Japan. I'll make sure to include all the links and resources below. And please watch out for my next videos documenting our adventures and misadventures in Japan. Thanks a lot for watching! Sayonara!